What up, what up, you guys? It's your boy Wolf Said the Engineer, and this is Space Engineer Survival Series. Welcome back. So, right into business. We have working on the base, and the wilder have done us a great favor. First, you would see on your uh, right the windmill. This massive thing is producing 1.7 megawatt of power around the clock, and it's counterwise. Uh, sorry. What you call this? Clock, clock counterwise. So we got two of them, and our wilder. My God, this wilder has done me a great favor. It was so nice, so agile. It entered from here and wielded the upgrades model, which was under the base. Look at this. I even added one extra battery here to fill the gap, and I was building a capacitor. Unfortunately, we don't have the resources it need as I'm really learning raw on resources. So, today is the day where we will gather resources in a mass way. So what I want is, I want a drill. And it's gonna be one of two. Either... Actually, one more thing first. Let's head inside. I have fixed the solar panel, the uh, LCD panel. So, on your left here. What you're looking at is the power situation of the base. We have reactor, solar, battery, input, output, and then total output as well. And a percentage of the stored power in the battery. This is a cross grid, so it's calculating the welder, which is connected to the base. In the middle here, this is temporarily, I put the ingot. In the future, I'm gonna put the shields here. And on the right, we got the components. Now, the quota is not accurate because this is the stock quota. Uh, once I build mass assembler, I will fix the quota to be on a standard level. In other words, it will build automatically the resources that I set. So if I set that steel plate should be 2000, it will always build up to 2000 steel plate. And once it's finished, it will stop. What next? What else? I also upgrade the solar farm a little bit. I finished the construction. And this is how it will looks like. This is the last form of it. It will of course be on the left side and the right side. So each side is giving me around, I believe, 7 megawatt in the day. And then if we added another one, we will have a 16 megawatt per day. If you divide it by two because day and night cycle, this is more than enough for all of our machineries. So let's head to the creative world and start building the drill. Okay, so this is how a wilder look like and to be honest, this is a good wilder. It's not bad It's actually work. I've tried it several of times So what I'm thinking is because the wilder that uh, the drill drill that I want to build is relatively expensive and it's massive I'm gonna go with this one for now try to mine some resources and uh, yeah, let's give it a go. So first things first, I need to change view of the settings. And then I might uh, add a battery to remove the reactors because this one is... Well, it's powered by battery. There is four of them, which is good. The only thing is there is reactors here which we don't need. I just don't see it. Ah, there it is. Reactor. It's hard to reach. <laughs> okay, well, I might keep it. There is like four reactors. So the only thing that I need is a way to dock this. As you can see it, it's flushed with the ground. And it's like two blocks or three blocks. This could fit in the platform, I can make it. And step number two is, well, make resources for it. So, control B, save the plan. And yep, and let's head back to the survival world. Okay, so there we are in the survival world. Now, as usual, we're gonna need a projector, landing leg, and a battery, probably. So, let's take the resources. Okay, everything's set. Let's get the wilder and start wielding. Now, the wilder should be full of resources, so... Let me show you guys how does it work. Come on. No Alright, no fuel. 
change the battery. Undock. And there we go. Whee! Okay, ever so carefully, turn on the wilders and it's done. So let's land it. Beat park and we're out. So we need to get the plan and in the wilder what's the power status we got enough power for a whole week whoa so here is the blueprint and it's like it's in the middle of my projector I'm guessing we're gonna push it a little bit forward So we go to the projector. Okay, sharp on the point. Look at that. Can we actually build? Um, something is missing though. We are gonna be missing one plate. Ah, I hate this. No. Okay, now it looks perfect. So. That's in a good position too. Let's get to the wilder. No fuel. Yeah, I know. No fuel. So I want to only move a little bit forward. And stop. Oops. Okay, stop. Start wielding. This is what I call a wilder. It wielded the shit out of it. See? We are building it instantly. Alright, so let me finish wielding and I'll get back to you guys later. So, unfortunately, the projector stopped. Uh, we ran out of power. So, the projector stopped working. Therefore, we cannot complete the build. And we need to actually charge the battery anyway. So, this was my solution. Four, cons five concentrated solar cells. So, as you can see, the wilder, the... Uh, build is back online now all what we have to do is turn on the wilder and let it go so we're gonna be behind it just to be safe and wilder on okay where are we now so apparently few things are not yet built I have no idea why it's not getting built. I will leave. Okay, interior plates. Do we have interior plates? We do have interior plates. Please start building. Metal grid was not there. So back to Wilder. Nope. Nothing is working. Not sure if I'm running out of resources or this is not working. But let's take it for a ride. So, get in my seat, turn on the engine, parking brake. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. Everything is getting built right now. But I would guess we run out of motors, so... Let's park it here. And go get you some motors. What do you need? 
block. Oh, grid, metal grid. So we're gonna need to build some metal grid. Let's have a look on the projector. This is one nice trick. If you wanna see, well, it's 100% built. If you, if there was something missing, it will be mentioned here. Like for example, if we will even now put the blueprint. Projector. Yeah, it's 100% built. So, the only reason now this is existing is because I need to charge it up. So I'm gonna go here and sit. Do we have a battery? I need to redo this, but that's gonna go for later. For now, those are the battery. We're gonna save them in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. See? <laughs> Something was wrong. I was not able to breathe inside. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so back to it again. Battery. And drill. Battery. Okay, so we have an input of almost 500. This is good. It's not gonna take long to to charge. The, we have a sensor which is not completed and two atmospheric thruster, three. And that's it. Everything else is good. Those, those are awesome. Solar concentrated white. So I'm gonna charge up the wilder, the, sorry, the drill. And I'll be right back, fellas. Okay, so while the, uh, the atmospheric drill is charging, let me show you guys what I done to the base. So basically we have name tags like for example, this is the furnace. I'm using a uh, Taliden inventory manager. So you put ore. This is wrong actually. <laughs> okay, so you put ore points, priority 5 points, 1000. What it would do, it, it would take ore to the furnace and it's very smart. So it would detect what ore the furnace need. In this case, it's stones, so it will only give it stones. And refineries, you can adjust it to be uh, just ore in general. So what it would do is it will split between many refineries, the same ore amount you are having. And then based on the quota you have, it will prioritize it. And then based on the quantity, example, you have 5000 stone and 2000 iron. What it will do first is the iron because it's less quantity. Second priority is based on the quota. If, th if the iron is needed or not needed. But that's complicated. I don't think we will face it. Here is another example. This is the reactor. I put it to have a uranium. Priority 5. And it will have only one. Those are the Korka container. One is for component and one is for ingot. This is awesome. All of that is connected to the timer block. The, the time between the delays is 5 seconds. And yeah, that's it. Soon enough we will have another shield, hopefully. Right now, this is what I have to deal with. In regard for power, we actually have a lot of power. We are charging or storing energy more, that more than what we need. But this... This is just the battery for the base. The actual consumption will be once we expand the base and build a huge refinery and, and a huge assembler. Right now we are not using power because there is nothing basically. Once we start using this, things would be different. So right now I'm just charging it with those. But in the future, oh my god, I have no idea what to do with it. What I'm thinking is I will add the same solar panel and I'll put them here. One on the left, one on the right. Or... Oh, this is complicated. Because the only way this would charge is from the base. So we need to set a platform for it. While it's charging, I'm guessing it's a good time to put it here. So we're gonna put it here and the platform should be coming from below. So... I guess we will expand it from here, coming all the way. And then put a connector. 
let's see how big is the connector. 